Hey guys, today we are gonna be talking about magic for the GH4 and all the other Micro Four Thirds cameras. Now that magic is this, it's the Metabones Speed Booster. This is an adapter that you can use uh, to get your big lenses, let's say Nikon lenses, which I'm using, onto your Micro Four Thirds camera. But it's not just a regular adapter, it's something special, it's amazing, it's awesome, it's magic, all those things uh, that I'm calling it. I think it really fixes two of the big downfalls of the Micro Four Thirds cameras. Now what this does instead of another a, a regular adapter is it has a piece of glass, a very high quality uh, piece of glass inside of here and it acts kind of like a magnifying glass. So um, if you just put a regular adapter on your uh, camera, the GH4 for example, and you throw on this uh, lens, this is a 50 millimeter 1.8, um, the camera, which has a smaller sensor than a full frame uh, Nikon camera, the sensor, it'll only grab a small portion of uh, the image that's coming in, let's say. And it'll only grab a small portion of the light that's coming in. So instead of being a 50, like this lens is, it becomes a 115 if you're using, uh, if you're shooting 4K. What this will do is it'll take that image and it'll take that light and it'll concentrate it down. So the main huge benefit is this lens will gain one stop of uh, light or the aperture. So instead of a 1.8, it'll become a 1.2. And um, it will also get wider because of it concentrating that light down. So instead of a 115 on the GH4, it will become an 82 millimeter. Now 115 is really hard to use into indoors, 82 you can use. Um, if you're shooting at 1.2 indoors, you can drop your ISO down by a stop. So I was shooting a wedding uh, about a couple weeks ago and I had to raise my ISO all the way up to 3200. Now if you've had to do that before, the image really breaks down between 1600 to 3200. 1600 still looks pretty good, 3200 you can t definitely tell the quality is going down. So using the speed booster with this lens, I can lower my ISO and I think that's one of the biggest downfalls of micro four thirds cameras is your uh, low light is not as good. I'm, I come from Canon full frame cameras and one reason I was always scared to switch the GH3 to shoot video even though it's sharper is the low light. When you get into those situations like say at weddings uh, where you have to raise your ISO up um, all the benefits of shooting on the GH3 kind of go out the drain because your quality goes down. Now with this, um, I can use Nikon lenses, which I'm using, I bought all Nikon lenses for my GH4. Um, I get one extra stop of light. So this becomes a f1.2. The wide angle that I have on here is a Tokina 11-16 2.8. That becomes a 2.0. So I think that solves one of the biggest downsides of shooting on the Micro Four Thirds using uh, this adapter. Now the other downside, um, not everybody agrees that the, this is a downside, but for a lot of people it is, is your depth of field. When people are shooting on a full frame like a Canon or a Nikon, you can get really shallow depth of field. You can focus on one thing and everything behind it will be blurry. Now since the GH4 and the Micro Four Thirds cameras uh, have a smaller sensor, um, you can't get that really, really shallow depth of field or shallow area in focus. Now, because this concentrates the light, it drops it from 1.8 to 1.2. It really helps get that shallow depth of field. Now, I uh, made some examples for you guys. I'm gonna show that off um, after I'm done blabbling on about how awesome this little adapter here is. Um, so you guys can check that out. I'll show you guys what it looks like just having a lens on with a regular $20 adapter and throwing this on how much wider you get on that wide angle, for example. Um, so a couple other benefits of using this adapter. Uh, these are not life-changing, um, amazing, just magical benefits, but they're really awesome as well. So one, this adapter has a really nice, um, aperture control. It's smooth, it's not clicked. If you want to be clicked, you can um, adjust it as well, but it will control your aperture. So if you're recording video, and let's say you're going from inside to outside, you can smoothly change your aperture 
and you don't get any of that weird clicking if you're just changing it with a Panasonic lens, for example. Uh, you can just smoothly adjust your exposure and it looks really, really nice and fluid and you can adjust it back. Now there are some adapters that have uh, different aperture settings but they're really low quality and they mess up your in, uh, image. What Metabones has, um, they have a patent going out on it so it's really unique and it works very, very well. So that's one. The other benefit is um, if you're using these Nikon lenses and a speed booster, you, you can look at it as having two lenses. Now what I did is I bought this and I bought a, just a cheap adapter and I bought, let's say, this lens here. So, if I want to use a speed booster, I have an 82 millimeter. If I want to use a regular adapter, I have a 115. Now, the wide angle, same thing. If I want to go ultra wide, I can use a speed booster. If I just need a wide lens, I can use a regular adapter. So, it effectively gives you two sets of lenses. You could buy a $20 adapter, as I'm, like I'm using right now on the GH4, and you could buy one of these. And if you want to use a 50 at 82, throw it on here. If you need to uh, zoom in a little bit more, get a little bit closer to whatever you're recording or taking photos of or whatever, just put it on a standard adapter and uh, there you go. So um, I really believe this is a game changer. Um, and like I said, I didn't buy any Panasonic lenses. I bought all Nikon because uh, this really makes the GH4 a perfect camera for me now. I can get shallow depth of field. I can get really nice low light shots, which I couldn't use before. So guys, I will have a link in the description where you can pick this up and uh, you guys can buy all sorts of um, lenses for Nikon. You have a much better variety of lenses and you guys can buy one of these if you're interested. Um, and uh, now I'll have those shots to show you guys depth of field that you can do now with the GH4 and how much wider the image gets with the GH4 and the speed booster as well. So thank you guys. If you have any comments, go ahead and write them in the description. And if you wanna see more videos um, on the GH4 itself, I'm gonna have different footage, 4K stuff, a lot of different things like that. You guys can subscribe to my channel and also go and check out my forum, gh4shooter.com. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See ya. Yeah.